In this video, I'm going over repairing the system reserve partition or the bootloader in Windows. This applies to server and workstation. This video is gonna be a lot different than the other videos on YouTube because most of them just have you run the boot rec command and that really doesn't fix it probably about 60 to 70% of the time. This one, I'm gonna assume the entire partition is completely toast. We're gonna to do a clean format, copy the actual boot files that need to be in the partition, fix the boot sector, and then run the boot rec command that rebuilds the BCD or the bootloader so Windows can boot into the actual Windows machine. Okay, so here is your typical disk layout. Pretty much Windows 10 and above, it's all gonna be about 500 megs for the system reserve partition. I think Windows 7 was about 100 megs by default. This is what the system reserve partition is. So when you're looking at this, this is the thing you don't really ever wanna mess with because that's how your actual Windows machine boots in. So in today's, we're gonna to actually wipe out this partition, kinda of show you what all is going on. Yeah, the quick way to get the command prompt from your installation media is gonna be hold shift and press F10. From here, we can launch right into disk part and start repairing our system. So once this goes ahead, launches into disk part, our command prompt's gonna change and we're gonna just go list disk. We only have one, so we select this disk. And then from the selection, we list partition. This lists the two partitions. As I went through on the GUI, you could see partition one is gonna be the system reserved uh, par partition that we actually need to repair. And then partition two is gonna be where all our data is. So we'll select partition one. Now, this partition is probably messed up, missing boot files, all kinds of different things. So we will just do a straight format to this one. Now, if you had anything else going on with this partition, obviously, or it wasn't created, you'd want it created as the very first partition. Uh, so it looks kind of like this. From here, our partitions are good. And you could use a graphic interface as well, like Gparted from Parted Magic or any tools to actually make sure your partitions are good. Uh, it's just this one is built into the Windows media. That's why I use disk part. Now with our actual partition done, we actually need to assign it a drive letter because remember we need to actually copy the boot files over to it. So to do this, we're just gonna do assign letter equals G. Make sure it's not C, but just something down the road. I usually choose G. Now we also need to change our C partition. So we're gonna select partition two. With partition two selected, we will go ahead and assign it letter equals C colon. We mainly do this just for like the scan OS. Sometimes this doesn't work on scan OS and that is okay. Uh, a lot of times it takes anyways and you just reboot and test your boot sequence. So now that we have all our partitions assigned letters, our system reserve partition is assigned letter G. We are ready to move to the next stop, so we will exit disk part. So the first thing I wanna do is repair the boot sector. So to do this, we just do boot sect NT60 and all force. This just updates all of the target volumes to be compatible with the bootloader. So from here, we can go BCD boot C colon windows. And actually what I'll probably do is just double check to make sure we have our windows directory. Okay, good. BCD boot C windows subdirectory or basically to copy to our G partition F all. And what this does is copies all the boot files needed for this windows installation in our G partition, which we just made and formatted. So now we can actually run the boot recs that you see on all these other tutorial videos that actually fix the boot partition. So let's just do boot rec scan OS. Now this may not actually show up in OS because this is a virtual machine, which is okay. From here, uh, let's just go ahead and fix our MBR. And then we will finish this out with a fixed boot. Now that the MBR and boot record is fixed, the final command would be boot rec rebuild BCD. Now this right here, I've actually uh, already done this. It's no, no problem, it's showing zero. 
again, this is a virtual machine, so it's kind of a specialized instance, but for you, it actually should show your partition. Uh, so from here, I think we're just gonna go ahead and reboot. We're gonna close out and close out. And there we go. Our system's booted all the way back up and we are set. So that was repairing the system reserve partition. Let me know in the comments if it worked for you or if you had any issues. And if you'd like to help make more videos like this one, consider visiting me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next video.